Hello everybody, Marcus Carverda here coming at you with a free harmonica lesson about third position songs. But before that, let me explain to you what a position is and where does that term come from. It comes right from here, circle of fifths. Don't get scared about all of this. This is simply a music theory concept that allows academic musicians to understand how sharps and flats, which are the black notes on the piano keyboard, appear systematically in the different keys. So you have the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, with no sharps or flat notes. Then if you think of the fifth after C, C, D, E, F, G, and you play that same major scale starting on the G, you will have F sharp of your first sharp note inside a key or a tonality. And well, somehow harmonica players decided to use this term to talk about the key you're playing specific harmonicas. You know, you go to a store and you can buy harmonicas in different keys, like a harmonica in the key of C, a harmonica in the key of D, a harmonica in the key of A. And you don't need to analyze each one of these. The most important to us harmonica players are going to be this one. Right here. You might be wondering, teacher, but how does this relate to our harmonicas? Simple. Check out the board. If we have a C harp and we're playing it in first position, it means that we're playing it in the key of C. If we are playing this same harmonica in the key of G, that's going to be second position because it's the first fifth on that previous circle we just saw, C, D, E, F, G. Then third position is going to be my next fifth after G, and that is G, A, B, C, D. And the same is going to happen with all the harmonicas. The thing is that if you have a circle of fifth, starting with the C here, and we're taking a D harmonica, for example. Now, our circle is not going to be the same. It's going to start on the D, and D is going to be first position. Then the next fifth after D, it's going to be second position. What is the next fifth after D? D, E, F, G, A. That's going to be second position on our D harmonica. And third position on our D harmonica, the next fifth after A. A, B, C, D, E. And finally, we've got to the playing part. And we'll talk about third position songs. The House of the Rising song is going to be one of these songs being played in the key of B minor. I am using an A harmonica in third position. And let's analyze it. Four draw, two times. Five low and five draw. Six draw and six blow. And then four draw and five draw. Then a draw twice. A draw and seven blow. And then six draw, six blow and six draw. 
then right here six draw seven blow and a draw then eight draw and seven blow six draw and six blow and then four draw and five draw then four four draw four draw and four blow and finally five draw five blow and four draw three four third position that means we're playing it in the key of E minor and you get it by playing four draw twice at the beginning then six draw twice then five blow five draw five blow and four draw Then six draw, seven blow, eight draw, and seven blow. Then six draw, seven draw, six blow, and six draw. I hope you're able to see. Then eight draw twice. A draw, seven blow, six draw twice, very fast, then six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, and four blow. And finally, four draw, six draw, six blow. Five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow, and four draw. By the time I was learning the harmonica, I remember I used to watch a lot of videos on YouTube. Suddenly, there was John Nemeth with his record, Name the Day. And man, I couldn't stop watching, listening and featuring these funky blues with my harmonica. That's the reason why my album is named after Funky Feeling, because of Nemeth. <laughs> Well, I had this strong desire to work in on a record loaded of blues, jazz, and funky music. I've got several songs and arrangements done back then. That's when I got to know Rafael Lares and his folk in trio. We've had such a great time playing and rearranging the whole tunes together. My future plans are go gigging the most I can and teaching how to play the harmonica on YouTube for free. By the way, this is how everything took off for me into the music business. If you are actually looking forward getting any further information about my future plans and updates, 
Go log in social networks shown below.